Hello, this is Andrew Perkins and this is part 8 in building a blog using Ruby on Rails. In this video we're going to learn how to delete posts. So here on our posts index page, for each post we're going to add a delete link to delete that post. Uh, the URL to delete a post is exactly the same as the URL to show a, posts, a post. So posts slash 1 issues an HTTP GET request and that uses our show action by default so that shows a post. Uh, when we create the link to delete a post it is also going to go to posts slash one but rather than using a get HTTP request Rails is going to simulate a delete HTTP request and that means it's going to use our destroy action instead of the show action and the destroy action is going to actually delete the post. So let's get started. Uh, back on our index page, let's add our delete link. We'll switch to our text editor, and under views, posts, we'll open up index.html.erb, and here's the link to edit a post. So inside of this same paragraph, we're going to add a delete link. So right after the edit link, I'm going to put a pipe and then a space, and then open up my erb tags and use the link to method to create a link. The linked text is going to say delete, and we're going to link to the post that we want to delete. And we can also pass in a third parameter. It's a hash. We can set a confirmation. Uh, this is a JavaScript pop-up, and it's going to ask us whether we're sure we want to actually go through with the delete. And we can make it say whatever we want. So we can say, are you sure? And that'll give us one last chance. We can hit no and it won't delete the post or we can hit yes and then it'll it'll actually follow through and delete the post and we can pass in the final parameter which is very important you need to tell it what method to use remember when I was talking about it can issue a get request or a delete request this is where you're telling this link when it accesses slash posts slash one to delete that first post we're telling rails to use the delete method so it'll actually use the destroy action rather than going to the show action so here's our full delete link here's the linked text this is the post that we're deleting we're giving ourselves a confirmation to make sure that we actually want to delete the post and then finally we're telling it to use a delete HTTP request so we can save this we'll go back to our browser we can refresh the page and we can see our delete link for each one and if we look down at the bottom, down in the bottom left, we can see that it's going to post slash one, just like I told you. And if we click it, we're going to get this are you sure confirmation. So we can hit OK to go through with the delete, or we can hit cancel to stop the delete. Uh, if we hit OK, it's not actually going to work yet because we haven't filled in our destroy action yet. So I'm going to hit cancel. And let's go finish up the destroy action. We'll switch back to our text editor. Under controllers, we're going to open up our posts controller. And down at the bottom, here's our last action, the destroy action. And this will destroy our post for us. So we first need to find the post that we want to destroy. So we're going to create an instance variable called post. We're going to use the post model find method. And we can use the params hash and grab the ID from the URL. And that'll be the post that we want to destroy and we can simply call the destroy method on the post object and it'll destroy it for us and let's redirect the user as well so we'll redirect to the let's go back to the index page as we have been doing so we'll go to the posts path and let's give them a notice as well we'll give them a success mes message that the post has been deleted so we'll say your post has been deleted and we'll save it and our destroy action is complete and we have our destroy link so let's give it a try we'll switch back to the browser I'm gonna refresh real quick and let's delete this third post so we'll hit delete we'll hit OK and our post is gone here's our message it says your post has been deleted and it no longer shows up on our index page so I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching